home warranty company drops the ball when it comes to repairing someone's air conditioning. This story comes from a news channel in Indianapolis, WRTV, and they did a story on a homeowner who says that they waited a very long time. We're not talking about days or even weeks. Wait till we dive into this. You're going to see that a homeowner waited way too long for their air conditioning to be repaired by the home warranty company. And so the interesting thing as we dive into this is you'll see that things changed once the media got involved with the home warranty company. The wheels started turning, if you will. So let's dive into this. A Cumberland woman is sharing her story after she had a hard time getting her air conditioner fixed through her home warranty company. Tamara Merritt reached out to WRTV Investigates for help and WRTV got results for the homeowner. Homeowners purchase a home warranty company in the hopes of avoiding costly repairs, especially on appliances, but some consumers say getting a repair done quickly and correctly is not always easy. I did a video a couple years ago on home warranty companies from my perspective as the contractor and we talked about some of the things that maybe you're not aware of as the homeowner. So definitely go back and check that video out if you've never seen it. But it's interesting seeing that here's an actual person that was dealing with the home warranty company and obviously things were not going the way she had hoped when she purchased that home warranty. In the grand scheme of things, to summarize that video that I made a couple years ago, I think a lot of homeowners go with the false sense of security when they purchase a home warranty. They think that if something breaks down, they're going to take care of it and I'm good to go. And it's really just a false sense of security that realtors use as a tool and then obviously the home warranty companies themselves use as a tool. They market themselves really well but when it comes to execution sometimes it seems like they fall short. WRTV investigates met up with Tamara Merritt at her Cumberland home on a day that felt like it was 10,000 degrees outside. Her air conditioning is working now but Merritt said it took more than a year of aggravation to get her AC fixed. It's been frustrating Merritt said. Merritt has a policy with American Home Shield Home Warranty, which she says costs her more than $700 a year. I googled several home warranty companies and they stuck out to me, Merritt said. I started doing business with them to make sure that I had coverage on big ticket items. Two years ago, I started Griffin Air and I didn't know any better. We were doing work for a lot of home warranty companies. And one thing that I found out is just like how cars have, you know, 100 different brands, but really only five or six or seven manufacturers and heating and air is the same way how there's hundreds of brands but really only about a seven to ten main manufacturers the same can be said with these home warranty companies there's hundreds or if not thousands of brands of these home warranty companies but they all are usually the same companies you're looking at three or four or five main home warranty companies but they market themselves so that way if you don't pick brand x and you go with brand y well they're both owned by this brand brand up here. And so we found that out because I was working with two different home warranties and I would call this phone number or this number and I was going to the same call center. I was talking to the same people at times and I actually asked them what was going on and what they said was if you called in on this number then they knew to answer it, hey you've called brand X now. But then if you called on this other number, same person but they saw that you called on this other number so they knew to answer it with brand Y. So just throwing that out there. Ms. Merritt filed a warranty claim last summer when her AC stopped working, a contractor came out to fix it and shortly after he repaired that, my AC stopped working again, Merritt said. I reached out to American Home Shield again and they kept redirecting me back to the contractor. American Home Shield was saying, look, you need to call that contractor that came out and fixed it, but then it broke again. Merritt said she had to purchase two window units to keep her house cool. American Home Shield sent another contractor out to her house. Now, it doesn't say how long after, but they did eventually send out another contractor and that contractor quoted me $2,200 to fix the evaporator coils inside the garage. He couldn't guarantee that my AC would be functioning at that point, Merritt said. Now I will say with the second contractor in his defense, sometimes that happens. You'll fix an air conditioner. I'll say to the customer, look, this is broken, but I won't know if anything else is wrong until I get that first item taken care of. So maybe that's why they weren't willing to guarantee it. Merritt contacted WRTV Investigates for help. My mom 
mom suggested that I reach out, Merritt said. At first I was skeptical. No one reaches out to a news station for help. I'm so glad I did. WRTV investigates found in general home warranty companies generate a lot of complaints. American Home Shield, based out of Memphis, has a 2 out of 5 rating with the Better Business Bureau. They've received 25,540 complaints in the last three years, many with similar gripes about difficulty in getting things fixed. The Indiana Attorney General's Office has also received 82 complaints since 2009 about American Home Shield, most for failure to honor their warranties. Records show that the state resolved most of those complaints because American Home Shield provided a refund or reached a resolution with the customer record show. It's kind of a shame that homeowners have to go so far as to getting lawyers involved or making a complaint to their state to get things moving, to get the warranty company to honor what they're supposed to honor. It looks like that's what's happened a few times. WRTV Investigates contacted American Home Shield about Tamara Merritt's struggles with getting her AC fixed. And after you reached out to the company, all of a sudden I received a call from the executive team, Merritt said. All of a sudden they were willing to cover the full and complete costs of repairing my AC with no out of pocket expenses for me. So as soon as the media got involved, American Home Shield snapped too. The executive team was on it. A spokesperson for American Home Shield told WRTV via email that their team, along with their network of contractors, has serviced over 19.8 million service requests over the past five years and paid more than $3 billion to repair and replace covered items for our customers during this time. In Ms. Mara's case, we are disappointed in the service experience we provided, the company's statement read. We have covered the cost to replace her HVAC coil, as well as additional costs associated with this work. In addition, we have reimbursed her for alternative cooling and her service fee. Obviously, we'll never know, but I would guess I would hypothesize that had this lady not called the media, that if they would have at least taken care of the coil like they said they ended up doing, pretty sure they would not have reimbursed her for the alternative cooling and her service fee. I'm just guessing that if the media wasn't involved, they probably wouldn't have done that. Tamara Merritt says even though her issue is resolved, she wants to help other people. I just want other people to be aware when you sign up for these warranty companies, read the fine print, Merritt said. Merritt plans to stick with American Home Shield for the time being. Hopefully we won't have to have this type of experience again, Merritt said. I don't know, Ms. Merritt, but I don't know how many times you have to put your hand on the stove to be burnt to know maybe you won't have the most pleasurable experience in the future again. I don't know. Hopefully she doesn't but I'm just saying. The Better Business Bureau recommends reading the fine print before you sign up as many home warranties offer coverage for specific parts of your home only and for limited amounts of time. And so it goes on with some more tips here. Make sure you file your, your complaint, keep good records, and so on. I think the main thing from this article that I wanted to touch on is we've done that video uh, not long ago from our perspective, and I make several observations in that video about the type of people that usually avoid avoid working for home warranty companies or the type of companies rather. And in contrast, the type of individuals or companies that typically end up working for the home warranty companies. I do know in my experience, we have some customers that do have home warranties, but they know that at Griffin Air, we won't work for them based on previous experiences. So what they'll do is their home warranty will let them still hire us and then reimburse that customer. So if you have a home warranty that is willing to do that, that is probably the best for you as the homeowner because you'll be able to select who you want to make the repair and then go from there. So I think in theory, home warranties are a good thing. If they worked perfectly and they protected everything in your home and did what they said they're going to do, then I think that in theory, they're great. But ultimately, it seems like a lot of folks have had a lot of issues. They are usually slow to make repairs, send repairmen out and so on. And this is an example of that. I don't think American Home Shield Warranty or whatever the company's name was, I don't think they're the exception to the rule. I think that they're just among the same. I think all the warranty companies have this type of reputation, but I've heard some folks say, in fact, people have commented on that first video I did and said, well, I think home warranties are great. I've had nothing but good experiences. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear, have you had a good experience or a bad experience with a home warranty company? It sounds like this lady was having a bad experience for a year and then she called her local media and all of a sudden had a good experience. So I think that's pretty interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.